Hey there, today's a very monumental day because I am doing a food review of the McRib, which only comes around every so often, every few years. Um, so it's something I kind of had to get into. Last time I had it, it was just sweet and barbecue and yucky. But I've already tried a little bit of the sauce and I, I, kinda, I quite like it. But uh, I've done my due diligence, wet in the bun, put it in a toaster, so now it's nice and toasty. Taking the uh, the bottom sauce, layering it on. Now it's nice and squashy, 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 squashy. It doesn't run, but it, the taste is going to be there. And I've already, oh, got to get some light in here. Put the tomato sauce. I'm going to say tomato sauce instead of ketchup. Yeah, yeah, yeah. On the McGrip burger. As it came, just as it was, I didn't really touch nothing. Rearranged a couple pickles, because, you know, aesthetic. Before cooking, so I cooked it. Okay, let's put this on. Oh, it's so hot. Okay, Ooh, it's, it's going over the bun. I think the bun shrunk a little. This is becoming like the picture-perfect McRib. Okay, look at that. Nice. Crunch on the bun. I didn't put water on the bottom one, but I put water on the top one and then put it in. Okay. Tell me, you can't tell me that's not a picture perfect McRib. You cannot. It's impossible to. Okay, let's see. That steam, you can see the steam. I'm glad I got. Oh, oh. oh hold on. Barbecue victory. Mm. The sweetness of the ketchup, I didn't put too much. It was, it's just so good. The squish of like an Asian made pork belly. And then it's like. Almost like a four hour smoked texture. Mm. I don't know, it's not, it's gotta be some sous vide texture in there. I don't I don't do much sous vide because I don't like cooking things in plastic. But my brain tells me there's there's something I'm missing that it about the texture that has to do with sous vide. It has a nice springiness. I like to use the right amount of cartilages, but ground them up enough so that it's not just one piece that you're trying to bite into and you can't get through. It's like, it provides a bounce. Mm. I swear, I swear they add a chemical that would counteract bad feelings in pork, like bad emotions. Because I'm just, I'm, I bite into this and it's just, I mean, a pig would be unhappy to be killed if they, they kind of understood what was happening, right? I just don't get that with this. I don't feel out those emotions. This is, this is so good. This is like, this is, this is so crazy good. I'm really just trying to get the light in there. Mm. Maybe it's me. Maybe I made it good. How's my recipe? Mm. 20 minutes. 450. Put it in right as you, you turn it on. On bake, not on turbo. But you don't want all the air going around. You just want to slowly cook it, slowly juice it. It's that good. Oh. 
at that. It even breaks off just like, oh, that's, that's a good bun. That's a, that's a good bun. Got that. Typical McD sugariness. Mmm, I love that sugariness. Typical McD's. Yeah. And you know what? The pieces in the McRib, I think someone, a lot of people probably complained about this, but, well, in the past, because they've done good on this now. They're very intact. And they're pretty big. Like, the pieces are... Can't really see it. I mean, that's like a piece right there that came off. It's pretty big. I quite like it. Mm. Oh, there's like this hearty flavor note, and it's kind of like a tenth of cinnamon with. Mmm, did you say nutmeg? Maybe like three-tenths nutmeg. And like two-tenths cumin. Or sumin. However you say it. But I ain't saying it the other way. And then there's, there's like a, I don't know, there's, there's, a, there's another taste. The herb, like an oregano taste. And I'm not too palatable for oregano except in pasta. But it just kind of brings me back. Brings me back to reality. You know what? Yeah, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. I would have gone for a more basil taste, but that's just me. And oregano is easier to source and cheaper. I wonder if it's just a typical pickles, or if they're Sweden pickles. I think they might just be, have changed the pickles for the duration that the McRib has arrived. Because these pickles aren't very vinegary. Usually they're very vinegary. Usually I avoid putting pickles on stuff because of that. Those pickles are sweet, though. Very sweet. Wow. Very, not, not a mustard taste. But like a, you know, like a sweet, have you ever tried a sweet honey Dijon mustard? It's kind of like you took a little bit of that sauce and slapped the pickle in it. And let it sit for a day. And then took it out. And it has that taste in it. Just a bit. You know, it's kind of exactly what it is. That was good. I am I am sorry that I have been secretly thinking, because I haven't tried the McRib, and I tried a long time ago and didn't like it that much. But I've been secretly thinking it was the same as back when. And it has become I mean it, it has become a a robust monster when you pop them in the toaster oven on bake. And you put the meat in first. And you wet the buns with water. Just give it a rinse under the tap. Not like like that, but like, oh, a little bit in. Oh, just to wet it. And then shake it off. <laughs> shake it off. Shake it off. Shake it off. Remember, you gotta do it with two buns. Although the bottom one being hot, pretty nice and hard instead of floppy and soft, it's pretty good. I didn't wet the bottom one. So, soft bun. Hard bun. It still stayed pretty soft. I mean, just got it today, so. Ear of approval. I like them. Thank you very much for watching. This has been a food review by Born SVG. Because when else you gotta make rib? Aside from a few times in 
you know, every year, not every year, 